Good morning. It is the last morning of the course. It's the last morning I'm in the room. When I, I've got all my stuff packed up in bags and stuff, so that when I leave, I just go and check out. Folk desk takes my bags, and goodbye to Marriott Heathrow until next weekend when I'm back down again for another course with Simon, with a bunch of other people, putting strategy into place the strategy implementation weekend i am hyped for it but today is the last day so obviously like this is the last day i have a 30 minute meeting in about five minutes and i'm super excited i want this meeting to change my life oh big words i said it i know but i am so excited this today is going to be great today is all about systems and putting things into place and action and I need to keep in my mind that this is a business and not a hobby. So I need to put money into my business. Um, and that's what, I, what I've been struggling with getting around recently. But I need to do this. I need to do this for myself. I'm going to go for breakfast, go for my meeting. Don't know when else I'll film today. I'm on the way home, I imagine. Probably not throughout the day because I'm just so full on talking to everybody. But... Yeah, see you later. It is the next day. Uh, the course is over. I'm back home. Absolutely mind blown. I'm knackered. But I thought I'd go through a couple of the key learnings and what I kind of worked out over the weekend. 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 With you, with you guys right now. So, in our little folder that we had. Wait. Our folder. Oh, I say little. In our folder that we had. Uh, we had pages to fill out, we had pages of information, and one of the pages that we were to fill out were key learnings from the day. So I'm going to pick one key learning from each day and just tell you what they are because they helped me. I'm going to pick ones that hopefully can help you and no matter what you do, so they won't be property specific. But, you know what? Well, actually, no. yeah. Okay, on to the first one. Let's go. So... The first day, one of the major things that I learned is what I am slash who I am. Uh, and that is in terms of property. Uh, and it's the personal introduction. Um, and you can apply this to yourself by coming up and thinking with a personal... When somebody says, so what do you do? Thinking of a phrase to say that you know off the top of your head that you can say to them, and it's not kind of just like a comment and it stops there, but it asks, it it brings up more questions and you might be able to find business from it. Um, it's really kind of like a pitch in a way. So what I am, well, somebody asked me, so what do you do? I go, well, I help people who need to sell their properties quickly and I help investors get a great return on their money. Okay, and that is much better than saying, oh, I'm in property. That ends the conversation. But what I am, I help people who need to sell their properties quickly and I help investors get a great return on their money. That opens it up. Then, oh, really? Let me hear, or it makes them start thinking, oh, actually, I know somebody who is getting repossessed and they need to get their house sold. Maybe, I don't know. That's the, but that's one of the best things I learned on the first day, to be fair. The personal introduction, and I'm going to use that every day whenever anybody asks me, because yeah, Simon was talking about a guy who found a house, a holiday house near Lake Como in Italy, just from saying that. Enough said. Thing two. Thing two was act now. There was a thing called a five second rule and it helps because uh, Chris Gethin talks about it. Knowledge without mileage is bullshit. And what that means is uh, other people say uh, knowledge without action means nothing or is nothing. And it's so true. You can know everything, you could learn everything. But unless you act on doing something, what's the point in knowing it? Nothing's going to happen because you just don't do anything. So we got taught, um, there's a thing called the five second rule where basically you learn something or you know what you need to do and you just go five, four, three, two, one and do it. And you don't think about it. 
and your mind's thinking about counting so it doesn't have the opportunity to come up with all of the excuses that your mind wants to come up with to stop you from doing something. So if there's something that you know you need to do, apply the five second rule. Just count down from five, down to one, and go. Go, jump into the cold water, that's it. That simple, that easy. There we go, day two, key learning, boom. Let's go on to day three. So, day three, we learned so much over the weekend and it was the final day. And on the final day, it was full on. We learned a lot of stuff. But something that I can share with you that isn't specifically uh, kind of tailored towards property that I took away as a key learning was that you don't need to know everything. Now, what I mean by that and what Simon meant by that was that you literally don't need to know everything. You just need, so he gave the example of a light switch, and he said, uh, before I give the example, there will be a few people in here who say they know how it works, because they probably are, but the far majority of people don't know how it works, and so he said, you see the lights, the lights, can anybody tell me how the light actually, like, comes from the light, how it goes through, and the physics and the light, and how the light is created up in the, up in the light, and obviously some people were like, yeah. I know how to do that, uh, how, it, how it happens, but 99% of people, I think one or two people in their hands, in the room put their hands up. Everybody else don't know. I mean, most people don't know, but that's okay, because what do you do to put the light on? You flick a switch. So you just need to find the switch to flick. You don't need to know how it works. You just find the right button and press it. You just need to know how it just how to get there so you don't need to know how it works you just find the right person you just understand the right concept and if you explain it to them or you hire the right people or you know the right people you'll be able to get it done without knowing exactly how it works I found that extremely important because I was getting so caught up in the little details of oh how does the uh, freehold split up into least how exactly how blah, blah, blah. no you don't need to know that because there are people out there who do know and it's their job to do it for you it's not your job you don't need to know how to do it so it's not holding you back anymore is it no it's not it's not an excuse anymore <laughs> it's not an excuse <laughs> So that are the three key, those are the three key learnings that I kind of learned over the weekend that aren't to do with property. If you wanted property specific ones, obviously I have a bunch of property specific ones because it was a property course, but those are the three non-property specific key learnings that I took from my weekend in London Heathrow Marriott on the Mastermind Property Mastermind Accelerator course with Simon Zucci. Thanks, brother. It meant a lot. I learned a lot. I'm going to take a lot of action, and I'm going to start earning some money. That's what I'm talking about. Earning some money. All right. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go and enjoy my day of rest. Sunday, the day of rest. I worked hard over the weekend. I need a bit of rest. I need a bit of time to plan. So, good night. <laughs>